Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson, who we all know as Boris Johnson, was born in Upper East Side, New York, United States, on 19 June, 1964. He is a British politician who has served as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and leader of the Conservative Party since 2019. Johnson attended Eton College and read classics at Balliol College, Oxford. In 2019, Johnson was elected Conservative leader and appointed Prime Minister, he reopened Brexit negotiations, and in early September, controversially prorogued Parliament, the Supreme Court ruled the action unlawful later that month. The COVID-19 pandemic became a major issue of his premiership, the government responded with various emergency powers, introduced measures across society to mitigate its impact, and approved the rollout of a nationwide vaccination program. Now let's take a look on the scandals that caused the resignation of Boris Johnson. Number 1. The Pincher Affair. Last week, Pincher was suspended from the party, after acknowledging he had made other people uncomfortable during a drunken night out. It subsequently emerged that Pincher had been the subject of past sexual harassment allegations. Johnson's office initially said the Prime Minister had been unaware of specific past allegations against Pincher. However, on Monday, senior former civil servant Simon McDonald wrote a letter saying he had investigated the allegations in 2019 and had upheld the complaints. This scandal in July 2022 led to the largest number of ministerial resignations in a 24-hour period, triggered by the resignations of Rishi Sunak and Sajid Javid from the cabinet, leading to his decision to resign the party leadership pending a leadership election. Boris Johnson announced that he would step down after a slew of resignations from his top team in protest at his leadership, but would stay on as prime minister until a replacement is found. Number 2. Partygate. The term Partygate was coined to refer to a scandal over parties held in government, including in Johnson's own Downing Street office, which were found to have violated strict COVID-19 lockdown rules. Johnson himself was fined by police for attending a birthday party and was forced to apologize to Queen Elizabeth after it emerged staff had partied in Downing Street on the eve of her husband Prince Philip's funeral in April 2021. She had been seated alone at the funeral because mixing indoors was banned. A report by a senior civil servant gave a damning account on a series of illegal lockdown parties, detailing instances of staff's excessive alcohol consumption and vomiting. Parliament is still investigating whether Johnson misled lawmakers on repeated occasions when he denied being aware of illegal parties. Number 3. Owen Patterson Affair. Last year, Parliament Standards Committee recommended suspending Conservative lawmaker and former Minister Owen Patterson for 30 days after finding he had committed an egregious case of paid advocacy by lobbying on behalf of companies that paid him. The Conservatives initially voted in Parliament to halt Patterson's suspension and overhaul the process of investigating lawmakers. After damaging headlines, Patterson resigned and the government abandoned the proposed changes. Number 4. Probe on refurbishment. After a refurbishment of Johnson's Downing Street flat led by a celebrity designer and including gold wallpaper, Britain's Electoral Commission fined the Conservatives £17,800 for failing to accurately report a donation to pay for it. Johnson's ethics advisor later criticized the prime minister for failing to disclose some messages exchanged with a donor. However, he concluded that Johnson had not intentionally lied about the messages. Number 5. Other sex scandals. Johnson's conservatives have been hit by other scandals of lawmakers accused of sexual improprieties, including two that led to lawmakers resigning. Conservative lawmaker Imran Ahmed Khan resigned after being found guilty of having sexually abused a 15-year-old boy. Neil Parrish, another conservative lawmaker, resigned after admitting he watched pornography on his phone in the House of Commons twice. I hope you all like the video, please do subscribe our channel for more informative videos. We'll meet in another informative session. Thank you.